Hello Foundry of ETT World. This module is really simple. It's designed to share compendiums between worlds. Here I've grabbed the information. It came from a Reddit. I'm not sure who actually supplied it, but I'd love to say thank you very much to that person. There are a couple of things you need to do. Firstly is taking this information here and creating a JSON file called a modules. Let's go over and have a quick look at what this looks like. In your Foundry VTT folder structure, you're normally found in your C drive, uh, local username, app data, uh, Foundry VTT, you'll find the three folders that make up Foundry VTT. The main one we're looking at at the moment is called data and inside data is a thing called modules. Inside the modules you'll find the modules you've downloaded and have installed on your Foundry VTT. We want to create a new one called shared data. So let's create that, create a folder called shared data, capital S on S and capital D for data. Once you've done that, inside there is another folder called packs. This is where the databases will be held for your shared data modules. Uh, as you fill in, there will be nothing in there at the present moment. And as you fill in your compendiums, this gets filled with the databases to those compendiums. This is the module for the shared data. It's always called a module. And if we open it up, you'll see all I've done is copied and paste from the Reddit into this and then adjusted it to suit my requirements. So as an example, uh, we have the packs and you can add as many packs as you wish. Uh, make sure you put a comma between the packs and all you do is copy and paste this section here and then paste it into the next area. In here we can have actors, scenes, we can have journal entries, make sure that when you're using journal entries it's called a journal and with an uppercase E entry, actors and I believe items are included and you can also include spells if you wish. What you want to do is if you wanted to create a new pack, you would then go, example, Avenus. I have a pack called Avenus Monsters, and just the label is called Avenus Monsters, and the DB, or the database for this, will just called Avenus.db. Then this is what you call it. This is what gets saved into packs, and this is what saves all the compendium across the world. That also applies to scenes and journals. So you're just giving it a name that you will then be able to understand when you go into your packs. So if we went into a packs here, you can see I have Avenus Journals, Avenus for my monsters. I have um, I have some scenes. That one's um, that's my my campaign at the present moment, Killing Fields. So let's go back. So once you've created that in your uh, notepad, like the module, you need to run that through some sort of JSON uh, scripting program. I found one on file on on the uh, on the internet, and you just run it through, and it converts the text file to a JSON file. Um, I'll I'll include mine in the uh, show notes, um, so you can actually use that copy if you wish. Let's go into Foundry VTT and just show what show you what that looks like. So here we are in Foundry VTT, um, and you can see in the compendiums, you now have shared data compendiums. So what I've done is gone through and added all of my Avernus, Avernus uh, monsters into this compendium. And then I can share this compendium across worlds. So this will, this will show up in any other world I create. Same with scenes. If I come down to um, Avenus scenes, I can actually 
have all the scenes I move the scenes into here and then I can move I can open up a new world and I can just pull out what scenes I want to actually show in the new world um, example if I went to Bell's Forge I would grab Bell Forge bring it out it includes uh, all of the uh, actors in the in the scene um, as long as and and that information will fill out as long as the uh, those actors are in your actual scene um, that's about it I think thank you very much for, for listening to this and I hope um, I hope uh, you guys enjoy it thanks bye